Okay. What's up, Whovians? I'm Missy. And I'm Holly. And this is We Watch Who, where one fan and one noob watches Doctor Who. Today we are going to be watching Season 7, Episode 12, The Crimson Horror. Yes. <laughs> so let's get into it. This is Gilly Flower. <laughs> we have come about your husband, my dear. Oh boy! Oh boy! My husband, your late husband. There must be some mistake. My husband is quite well. Uh huh. <laughs> right now. We're so very sorry for your loss. Ew! That's <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Fire. That's put me right off me mash. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Thank Another. You. It's not the first one I've had in here looking like that. The Crimson Horror. That's what they're calling it. Is that the name I have of no that? interest in the deplorable excess. He did it. He did the thing. Penny Dreadful. Hey, hey. Penny Dreadful. Payment in advance, Flower. Love Penny Dreadful. The idea of Penny Dreadful. I'm, I mean, I don't. Taking a big risk, you see, I am. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Dear God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wasn't ready for that, was he? Uh. My own daughter, uh. blinded in a drunken rage by my uh. late husband. <laughs> Her once beautiful eyes. There is a different path. Yeah. Sweet Phil. Yeah. Sweet Phil. Yeah, we all live there. Join us. Yes. Join us in this shining city on the hill. Oh, that's not good. What? Where's that? Did you think I'd forgotten you, dear monster? Lock behind it. You'd be so kind as to announce me, my good man. Whom shall I say is calling? Ah. Well, he's having a rough time. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Breaking Do in. Do me a favor. Cause a distraction. Go on. Are you cracking? I like that. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately turned it on. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, like but not okay. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't have the whole very noisy grammar. <laughs> Red I think I have seen these symptoms before. Oh, a long time ago. Oh, how long? About sixty-five million years. That was odd. All right, mate. You just stay calm now. She said, "All right, mate." <laughs> <laughs> Is that understood? Why? Well, all the other ones were only like one knock, so now this feels like that was a different message. You should we should have done the two knocks for for no, one knock for yes. Sure, really so, established yeah, yeah. Uh, system. Yeah. Doctor. Yeah, that much. Right. Right, we're getting out of here. Uh. In his long johns. That doesn't feel like the right way to go. I'm curious as to why she thought that was the right way to go. Oh. He is the time. You are all I have, monster. Oh, come on, guys. We're just being sloppy now. There he is. Fixes everything. As long as he's not wood now. I mean, he seems a little bit like wood. He does seem a little. Ooh. Oh, green! That's a green happy color. Green is finally here. good. There you go. Jenny, 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 Jenny. Just when you think your favorite lockpicking Victorian chambermaid will never turn up, Jenny. Oh. Oh, <laughs> well, she's taken. Oh. Yeah. Red. You have no idea how good that feels. Yeah. <laughs> Yorkshire, 1893. Near enough. 
You're making and a they're, habit they're dressing. Lost. They're dressing. They didn't dress before. There. It's much better than it used to be. All dead from causes unknown, and their flesh glowing. Oh like my! A monkey in a coal cellar. Wow, this is nasty. An organic poison. Doctor and Mrs. Smith. Oh yes. You'll do very nicely. Oh, grand. Smashing. Hey, the missus and I couldn't be more chuffed, couldn't we, love? Yeah. <laughs> Better just to not say anything when we're doing it. <laughs> Eek. Gross. But then why are some of them turning up dead? That's what I don't get. Like pretty maids all in a row. Oh, into the canal with the rejects, Ada. Hmm. So they're the rejects then. Hmm. The process didn't work. Sometimes the preservation process goes wrong. Only Mr. Sweet knows why. And only Mama is allowed to talk to Mr. Sweet. But if you're very good, you can stay here. You'll be my secret. Ah. My special monster. Not, not great. Eh, gross. Yep. That's so creepy. Yep. She's so creepy. Yep. Oh. Edmund must have come looking for us and then fallen into a vat of the pure venom. Or was pushed. Yeah. There she is. I feel like there could have potentially been another way to, but I guess we're not, we're trying to go quickly. Is the meaning of this? See, and had he closed the door behind him, she'd have slipped in the food. Yeah. She just would have kept putting food in. Yeah. You have loosed a reject onto the outside world. I have disappointed you. My plans must be accelerated. There can be no place for people such as you. Oh. The only perfection is good enough for myself and Mr. Sweet. <laughs> The bright day is done, child, and you are for the dark. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, great, great. <laughs> the supermodels. It's time for a plan. This one's on me. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, are we going to do anything, or are we just going <laughs> to... <laughs> you know Jenny's stuff. Okay, have a new plan. They're holding the moments for a very long time. And then there's Strax. He made Everyone it. Everyone has their strong suit. Here's his laser guns. No, 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 we're not escaping. We got out the door to get Clara. Go outside and wait for me until I call for you. But madam, go! <laughs> she can't be. I was right then. You and Clara have unfinished business. Hi. But she's never met them. Right. What's going on? And there's the poison. That doesn't look like quite enough to... I've got a plan. Big balloon. <laughs> ah, the organ. There's always an organ. Always an organ grinder. <laughs> you still kidnapped somebody, but I do feel bad for you. Who is that? It's you, my monster. You've come back, but you're... Warm. And alive, thanks to you, Ada. You saved me from your mother's human rubbish tip. Who is Mr. Sweet? Oh, dear monster. Please. I cannot. Even now, I cannot. I cannot betray my mother. There's something you need to know. Mm. That's sad. Mm. This dude's job is to just stare just at that thing. Watch the bubble. He's guarding it, but I was like, just stare at it. <laughs> stare at it, but good. <laughs> seem to keep turning up like a bad penny, young man. Force of habit. Can I offer you something? This silent partner of yours, why is he so shy? Mr. <laughs> Sweet is always with us. Do you seem to have a very close mm -hmm. relationship, you and your pal? Oh yes, Doctor. Exceedingly close. Which means... Mm -hmm. Symbiotic, you might say. Oh, oh, I didn't. I didn't and I should have because of the sugar. I should have gotten it. <laughs> He has grown fat and the fat <clears throat> humanity has pumped into the rivers. That's where I found him. So Very cute. Surprising. His needs are simple. And in return, he gives me his nectar. This is good a flower. 
with in the wrong hands, that venom could wipe out all life on this planet. Do you know what these are? <laughs> the wrong hands. <laughs> she is chaos. Oh man, she is. In the wrong hands. You know what these are? Dum dum. Hey, hey, hey. Planning a little fireworks party, are we? My rocket will explode high in the atmosphere. Tell us about Ada, Mrs. Gilliflower. What? Your daughter. You do remember what? your daughter. Tell us about it. <laughs> the child is of no consequence. Is that why you experimented on her? Experimented? The signs are all there, the pattern of scarring. You mm -hmm. used her as a guinea pig, didn't you? God. Sometimes sacrifices must be made. Yeesh. Yeah. Sacrifices. It's necessary. I had to find out how much of the venom would produce an antitoxin to immunize myself, don't you see? It was necessary. Tested on her daughter. Mm. Is it true? Ada. It <laughs> it's true. True. Ada. Listen. You hag! You perfidious hag! Ooh. You virago! You harpy! All these years I have helped you, served you, looked after you, does it count for nothing? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you did that a little bit, the doctor. <laughs> hang on, yep. hang on, I've got a sonic screwdriver. Yeah? I've got a chair. It's <laughs> great. Okay, okay. Maybe. Yeah. Sure. That worked. Just I'm afraid destroy. your rocket isn't going anywhere, Mrs. G. <laughs> yes. So there. Hmm. <laughs> Good then. Is it going now? No. Nope. We're still okay. Come to me. You have always been so very useful. Oh, Mrs. Gilliflower. Please, Mama, no more. No. It is long past Ada's bedtime. Oh, I think we know if we're willing to do anything. Yeah, really, at this point. Has the venom been loaded? Just let her go. Mrs. Gilliflower, let Ada. Ada go. Secondary firing mechanism, Doctor. Mr. Sweet and I were too smart for you, after all. Just let your daughter go, Mrs. Gilliflower. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Shoot if you wish, Mama. It is no matter for you killed me a long time ago. No. Oh! <laughs> Don't hear a lot of gunfire in this show, yeah. I'll live a night and day. Man. <laughs> Sweet. This is gross. I don't like this at all. This is this is gross. This is gross. I don't think so, Mrs. Gilliflower. There she is. Ha <laughs> ha! We got the bubble! Very well then. If I can't take the world with me, you will have to do. Die, you freaks. Oh! Die! Die! Put down your weapon! Human female. <laughs> Human female. Oh! Ouch. Oh boy. Yeah. Show us doing some stuff. Yeah. This is one of those. Yeah. Oh. Where are you going? You gotta leave me now. What's it doing? Well, I know she's dying. She's no longer of any use to it. Mr. Sweet. Oh. What in the heck? I'm here, Mama. Forgive me, my child. Never. That's my girl. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What will you do with that thing? Huh? Take it back to the Jurassic era, maybe. <gasps> yep. Yeah, no, you won't. On the other hand, <laughs> we were heading for London, weren't we? <laughs> Was there any particular reason? No. No, just thought you might like it. Maybe had enough of Victorian values for a bit? <laughs> You're the boss. Am I? No. No. Get in. Ada, I'd love to stay and help clear up the mess, but... I know. Dear monster, you have things to do. And what about you? Oh, there are many things a bright young lady can do to occupy her time. 
<laughs> it's time I stepped out of the darkness and into the light. Good mm -hmm. luck, Ada. Mm -hmm. You know, He's I think you will be just <laughs> splendid. That's what it used to say. <laughs> well, thanks a million, you three. As ever, have some Pontefract cakes on me. I love Pontefract cakes. <laughs> ha! See you around, eh? I shouldn't wonder. What? Doctor, <laughs> that girl, Clara, you haven't explained. Really haven't. Not even a little. No. I haven't. <laughs> Poor Jenny. <laughs> Look at the muck in here. Right. There you are. I called oh, to no. see if there had been any progress. This poor guy. Just go on. Just go on. Yes. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Perhaps, like, bring a fainting couch with you? I don't know <laughs> if there's a portable... <gasps> oh, dear. Wait. But we met this... What do you mean, our... It's you, I'm confused it? now. Some okay, yeah. Counties, but it's definitely you. Yeah, this is our, like, regular Clara. And we didn't lose her? You too. Uh, In no. I found it at school. That's just someone who looks like me. And that's someone who looks like your boyfriend. Is he an alien? Why would he be an alien? Uh, the chin. The chin? And the time travel? That's not right. You were in Victorian London. No, I was in Victorian Yorkshire. <laughs> nah. How come you didn't tell her? Time travel, that's so cool. Can we have a go? Can you have a what? I want my shot of the time machine. No, 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 no. Listen. Okay. I like her skull sweater. Oh, we'll have to tell Dad that our nanny's a time traveler. Uh oh. Mrs. Gillyflower. Of oh, course. Whatever. I was like, at first, this whole time, I was like, does she look familiar because of this? Or does no. she look familiar because of. I want her to know. And then I was like, oh, yeah, okay, that's why okay. she's psycho okay. old lady. Yeah, I thought, I and thought she's that. she's so badass psycho old lady. I thought the beginning lady. when she showed up, you, know, you were like, hey, I thought that was like, we were like, yeah, we know who she is. But and I just stared at her and I'm like, <laughs> why is she so See, I thought familiar? We were, I thought we were here. And then no, like toward the end, I was like, oh no. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. tell her it was me. Uh huh, uh huh. But what's funny is, is that like they, I think they like aged her up significantly in this. Yeah, she looks older in this because than she, she does, does in yeah. Game of Thrones. She looks super, like so much older than that. I mean, obviously like having her hair all crazy and then the whole time we saw her in Game of Thrones, it was like all tucked. So she I don't even know what lovely. her hair would look like for Game of Thrones, but man, yeah, she actually looks much better in Game of Thrones, I feel like. They like, well, and she had zone. the whole, the drapey and the- they got, she Well, was, and she, she was, was totally... supposed to be kind of like a nutter in this. And then for Game of Thrones, she's supposed to be like <laughs> regal and like badass, you know, so. Very true, very um, true. Two completely different characters. And obviously in Game of Thrones, she was so cool. Things got dark in this though. Yeah, right? So dark. There was abuse. Yeah. There was kidnapping. Yeah. Then also the potato, I can't think of his name, so I'm just gonna call him potato. Strax. That's what call it. Strax. Yeah, it's okay, call he him a potato. Oh. I do. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. It's always too soon. <laughs> but, is, okay, But he shot on. his little, his little gun thing at her hand, and oh, then yeah. she yeah. falls to her death. Right. And the doctor's like, okay. He he took this all way too lightly. Yeah, I felt like we were getting dragged along a little bit like that. Like we we're trailing behind the whole time. Like, wait, what? Oh, okay. This okay. is where we need someone like, I don't like Martha or Donna to come in and be like, what, what, what the, or even Rory to be like, you, is anyone else not okay with the emotional trauma? Like, I feel like Clara's treating this like Rose would have treated everything. <laughs> yeah. Where she is just like, oh my goodness, what an adventure of all of this. Of all of this thing. Yeah. Like I feel like in the instance where he was talking to Ada, right? Yeah. He's talking to Ada and she's she's blinded and she's just emotionally just so broken up over her mother and she's crying in a corner. And the doctor's talking to her and like Clara's just like well, what's going on? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm a friend. Donna would have been right there. Like, just, yeah. I'm a friend, and would have just zoomed in yeah. to talk to her. She would have. And it was I like, that. 
I mean, it's fine. Every, you know, all the companions handle these situations differently. And I'm not saying that, like, the way Clara handled it was, you know, oh, screw her. She's not well, handling she, it right. She, she really, handled she it her really way. A whole lot. Provided enough of a counterbalance to the doctor. And I think that that's what oh. I look for in a companion is to provide a counterbalance well but she's less of a doctor. companion and more of a mystery for the doctor at this point she is she's, and that's she's another storyline she's another plot a mystery for him to figure out yeah. she's not just there to be his counterbalance yes like the other companions are normally yeah. so she's yeah. different she's different in that way because she doesn't really get super involved in the like that's what I was, exactly kind of what i was trying to say with like feeling like we're just like holding someone's hand and being dragged through the story it was like well well, hold on. Where's the? Wait, hold on. What's yeah. happened? This is huge. And he just, she just shot a gun a bunch, and he didn't say anything about guns. And then he shot the gun, and she falls to her death. And he's like, Meh. and then he's yeah. like, well, we definitely need to save this alien life. And then she smushes it, and he's like, or not. So yeah, and no big deal. Like, what just yeah. happened? Hold on. Yeah, it moved. I didn't. Ah. And I mean, look, that happens. There's a, there was a lot of action, and and that can happen sometimes. And I mean, that's totally. sort of the whole thing, like that he grabs your hand and whispers, "Run!" and you go, you know. But I didn't feel like he was dragging us. I just felt like the story was leaving us a little bit. Like, hold yeah. on, wait, where's this? Is a big emotional moment. And I did feel like the daughter Ada's character had some really like she, she was doing some acting. <laughs> like oh she gosh. was like, whew. I felt very emotionally tied to her, but I didn't feel like very emotionally supported by you know like the, yeah there was an, and then the resolution was just like you'll be you'll be stupendous or whatever it was he said like yeah. oh, she just went through some stuff it might need a little yeah bit of everybody was just sort of he he just really uh wish i could help you clean it all up but, <laughs> but it'll be great see you later i gotta get in this tardis with clara because we gotta go do and it's like bro what? This is weird. Yeah, I feel a little bit what at the end of that episode. You just totally bailed on everybody and you just... Doesn't want to answer questions about Clara, ran into the TARDIS and left. Okay. And like, and even Jenny's like, you are... Can and he was like, no, I didn't. Oh All my right. gosh. Do you see the dirt on this thing? Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, he's... Just, I mean, you're right. He is. He's Definitely very much quest. on... He's very much on a Clara mission. It's not procrastination. I'm on a side quest. That would... Something yes, like that. 100%. <laughs> anyway, I could, I, I could, I could just. It was a weird. I'm not like mad at it in no. any way. I no. really do. I really do think this episode is really cool, and I like it, and it was super intense. But yeah, I, I wish, I wish he would just like engage with his people and like emotionally invest, because I felt like there was so much room for him to really emotionally invest. Yeah, no, there didn't engage. feel like a lot of emotional investment in this one. And he just wasn't like there were so many opportunities for like these moments, and so many opportunities for Clara to like invest and they just were like dip, 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 well dip, yeah dip. that's ex but that's the point i think is that he is emotionally invested in his mission it's just yeah. not this isn't his mission you're like what are you not understanding i'm telling you what this is <laughs> no you've seen the I show just, why are you <laughs> but i think it's that's i think that's interesting yeah, that yeah. it's like that no, he's, you're right. that he's intention like that it seems like his focus is elsewhere that's what i think is interesting Holly about it i know i'm like i get I, I i just don't want him to okay i just don't Want him to, okay? I just don't want him. Well, so there. Well, there. Okay. Is this still all about all right. River? Is that what Shut this is all up. about? <laughs> it's all about River. <laughs> Definitely about River. <laughs> he is a married man. So. It's know. like he doesn't even know that, okay? <laughs> it's like he didn't remember, and then like, it's just like, is she not, okay? Where is she in all those pictures that they saw on the internet? Do they not pay those finger? Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, Doctor Who! Yeah, it's not good. We did. <laughs> so bad. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's the Doctor and Clara. Whatever! Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much we for watching did. with us. We'll see you next time. <laughs> see you next time. Goodbye. Don't be okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe like and, subscribe. and uh, keep you notified of our content. And you can also head on over to Patreon where we've got even more good stuff for you to check out. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Everything she said. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All those things. She's keeping it. Like, subscribe, Patreon. It's all there. Yep. World all is that. your oyster. The universe.